Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Today I am going to be doing my week 10 12 by 12. I only have one for week 10. Um, I haven't had any lately that I can think of, um, but there will also be a pocket page video. I'm not sure what order I'm going to be posting them in quite yet because I am waiting on a package so that I can finish up the Every Minute a Story Coffee Monster Co. Pippi Plans haul. Um, and it's a lot later than I expected it to be. So things are kind of in flux with that. But hopefully it'll come soon and I'll be able to have um, both of those videos out within hopefully the next week or so, um, just to give myself some preloaded content would be nice. Um, especially with so much going on next week, um, between weekend, the life and all of that jazz and, uh, Disney bounding with pride. And my series exam is also scheduled for next week and it's currently staying there as far as I know, pending an emotional breakdown. Um, <laughs> if you are participating in Week in the Life or Disney Bounding with Pride, I would really love to know um, if you are looking for some extra help with Week in the Life or a new perspective. I do have a video up that went up on Monday because I was having some upload issues. Um, but it is my first year doing Week in the Life and so that will be posted on the channel or that is posted on the channel rather. Um, so there's that too, but kind of now diving into what's going on on screen. So I decided to use fresh bouquet to document these lovely photos of my mother on her birthday. Um, my mother is very neutral colors. She is very Maggie Holmes. That is in, in terms of the color palette. I don't, in, in terms of the person, I think Maggie is a little bit different. Um, but the colors suit my mother and her preferences. So I saw this, um, page and thought of her immediately. And there were two in the 12 by 12 pad I had. So I went ahead and tore them both out and then just sat and binge watched all three Fantastic Beasts while I cut them out. And of course did other things, but because my hand would get tired periodically. But um, the great part about that is I obviously didn't end up using all of the flowers I cut out. So they'll be able to be used for other embellishments with fresh bouquet product. And it's kind of like having free embellishments if you think about it. So if you're struggling with maybe, you know, embellishments to buy with a collection or maybe you can't find them or what have you, that is a really good way to kind of DIY your own embellishments is to just cut out the floral page if there are two or maybe if it's one and you're not you're not a pattern person, pattern paper person. That's a mouthful. It's a really good way to give um kind of those busier pages some love so they don't go to die in your stash. They can be cut down and used for embellishments. Um, another thing that you'll see me playing with are these adorable little circles with some typed journaling on them. So I chose to ask my mother, Kristen, which is Kristen Tweedell's currently list. Um, and she was doing really, really well, but my mother does have the tendency to get um, ADHD and fussy. So she was doing really good through like the easy questions. And then when we got about halfway, she was starting <laughs> to like fiddle in her seat and um, got really sarcastic. So by the time we got to making, her response was spinning alpaca wood very sarcastically as she fluttered her eyelashes. Um, and then feeling resulted in the same fluttering of the eyelashes and sarcastic blessed, um, which if you knew my mother at all, is definitely not a response that you would uh, typically get from her. So she was doing really good, but I put her responses, sarcasm and all in there. And I thought it turned out really good. Um, originally, I was going to put them all across the bottom kind of in a zigzag, but I ended up doing them in a straight diagonal across the page. And I love how it looks. I love how the spread turned out in terms of um, format. I guess like the layout of where everything ended up because it was a lot to work with and it was going to be really busy between all of the floral embellishments on top of the floral embellishments of that original page. Um, and on top of that, the paper layers, um, 
yeah, it was going to be a lot. And I did want her voice to be heard instead of me journaling about her birthday or the traditions. And currently lists are something that I've been doing this year. So it was a way for me to incorporate something that my mother's doing um, or that I'm doing into an activity with my mother. And I do think going forward, I'm going to try to do that with a couple, a couple, can't talk today, family members and friends as their birthdays or other events occur. So as you can see, I am gluing these florals down. What I did was I layered the cutout florals on top of the full page just to add more dimension and to um, just kind of create some really interesting layers without bulking up the page too bad because I was able to like put them over the circles in a couple places or put them over photos just to like have everything float together and be really cohesive and look like it was on purpose but layered it I really enjoy how it turned out I think if I were to go back and change anything at all it would be that I did this like faux stitch border with my micron pen around all the circles which I really liked if I had thought about it and maybe been in a better frame of mind where I didn't have so many obligations <laughs> I would have loved to have actually stitched it so maybe that's an idea for a future spread or if you're looking to do something similar to this but want an extra layer of oomph or texture I really think a stitch would have been nice and I wish I had had like a sewing machine and I would have probably done like a neutral color thread just straight line stitches in a couple places just to, again texture um I don't have a sewing machine so everything has to be done by hand um I would love to get a sewing machine and a big typewriter that would fit these layouts but we work with what we have um and I think that that's super important and that goes back to you know cutting down your own embellishments when needed or you know we are crafty ladies or men and we are crafty in all the ways so just stretch your mind a little bit and YouTube is a great place to get tons of really cool resources I'm also a part of the awesome ladies project so if you'd like to join it's completely free to do that um, and you'll get a ton of really cool ideas over there too and I'll put that info down below um, some other things to chit chat about with this spread would be that I haven't started adding them yet, but I think it'll go pretty fast, but I do like two little word clusters with some stickers and some enamel dot speckling. My enamel dots are from citrus twists, like just old packs that I have and Prima, which I think, I don't remember what Prima collection it was. Um, but they were like that perfect, like hairy winkly gray blue um so it worked really great and I never do it on camera I did it after the fact but I do end up date stamping um and one thing I did really like just from a textural standpoint you'll see me pull out my watercolor and just kind of tap in that upper right hand corner and then that lower left hand corner of the yellow paper um and I just think that it helped blend again I really do strive to have that blended element when I do a 12 by 12 spread because they can be such a huge focus point in your album and they're so huge um but I know I have said it 5,000 times but I really do love how this turned out even with do you know saying the little things that I would love to have the stitching or this that or the third but I am going to throw on some music and let you guys finish this in peace. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying the content. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Um, as it stands right now, I've got week 10 pocket pages and that haul video. And then we'll probably roll right into planner videos because we're really close to the end of the month. Um, so that's just kind of currently my plan. And then going into July, we'll probably kick off with week 11 is my plan. I think it is anyway. But until next time, happy planning, happy crafting. Hope all the happy summer things are coming your way and look forward to the next video with you guys. Bye.